Hello, well, that shouldn't in today's fur video. Go to have a look at the weather for the 14 days, 40 days fur video. So, day 10 will take us to the uh, 10th of September, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have said GFS and ECM ensembles, maybe on two rounds of weeks. Of course, have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for next four weeks. That gets us into the second half or latter part now of September, and I'll get time back for you in a moment. Just say that first. A video says at 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and of course, we've also a release for peak weather, the autumn 2025 forecast as well. So check out those two bits if you'd like to see that. Like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And show everyone for doing that. For gas weather vids, so much, uh, everyone. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so just say the first thing uh, for this video is that we're going to be uh, putting the calendar on sale tomorrow. So, uh, this is the Gazwell 2026 uh, viewer photography uh, calendar front cover of it anyway so uh, we've done our 12 reveals that's what we're uh, selling for our uh, 2026 calendar it's retailing at 13 uh, pounds that's 10 pounds a calendar three pounds postage and package i think that's a pretty fair uh, pretty fair price and you can uh, buy that through our paypal page so this is the link to our paypal page from tomorrow to send 13 pounds to our paypal page we'll get the calendar uh, out to you and uh, it's awesome thank you so so much everyone for uh, doing that for uh, gavs weather viz and uh yeah thank you so much to all of our uh lovely uh, photographers as well for submitting uh, their photos and most of you that didn't make it in uh well all of the photos were fantastic it, we had a really really hard job you know picking out uh, the 12 photos we could easily have done another calendar really with, with, with another 12 photos um, or maybe even number two calendars three calendars uh, we had some amazing submissions that we aren't, weren't able to put in uh, this time but uh, we'll be doing another calendar uh, next year for 2027 we have so much fun uh, with these calendars you know but uh, there'll definitely be another one uh, next year so there will be more opportunities to have your photos featured thank you so much everyone uh, for uh, all of the support over all of these uh, years and I say calendar for 2026 is on sale tomorrow Exciting. Right, okay, going to start off with Blades Rimble Map from Earth and Old School .net, showing that low pressure is sitting to the west of the UK and Ireland, and uh, we're feeding in uh, a west or a southwesterly. Uh, we've got further area of low pressure downstream in the Atlantic. That one will be on its way in as well. Later in the week, Century temperature is currently sitting at 17.8, that's 2 degrees above 61 to 99 average. It's provisional to be a 29th of uh, August. Now, to have the CT for summer 2025 beat uh, 1976, which of course is the hottest summer for the central England temperature, I believe my, my friend MK uh, Martin, uh, MK1973, said, but um, we've got to uh, uh, have the CT for August at 17.8, so we're exactly on that at the moment to equal the summer of 1976, because we've done it in a rather different way. Uh, but uh, I think they're probably going to tick down maybe 17.7, maybe 17.6. I mean, we might just, um, we might just miss actually equaling uh, the summer of 76 or beating it. It's going to be very interesting to see where we land up in, uh, in, in, in a couple of days' time. Well, that's actually going to update tomorrow. So when that updates tomorrow, it'll be very interesting to see uh, where that lands up. I think it'll probably be about 17.6 or 17.7, but very, very, very close run thing. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at Birmingham today, the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. Of course, it's only off close to average at the moment. Going to keep the upper air temperature close to average as well over the uh, next couple of weeks. So, uh, no sign of any notable uh, um, warm up there or particularly cool spell. It looks like just hovering quite close to average. However, there is some quite warm model output appearing. Uh, again today, so uh, we'll go through those uh, charts in a moment. Um, Precipitation-wise, well, it looks quite unsettled, really. Uh, relatively large precipitation spikes from beginning to end on the ensemble graph there. 
Temperature anomalies for the next five days to the 5th of September, a little bit above average in the east, near normal to a little bit below out in the west. Absolutation anomalies for the uh, next seven days to the 7th of September. Well, many southern western areas wetter than normal, a little bit drier than average in the north and in the northeast. Uh, right, okay, let's start going for chart data. Then it's our latest UK met Euro and talking midnight on Wednesday. Low pressure is heading in from off the Atlantic. That's bringing uh, pretty wet and windy weather in with it through Wednesday into Thursday. Then we're going to that strong westerly portion with showers in the north. Uh, and that's going to be quite a cool westerly as well, I think, through the second half next week. Then another low moving in through uh, next weekend. This will start to pull up some quite warm air uh, from the south. Up red temperature show plus 10 cells iceberg. Push back north again. Plus 15 south ice firm is uh, flirting with south coast. So uh, that could deliver, you know, some uh, really quite warm temperatures next weekend. Certainly back up into the mid 20s Celsius. Will be dependent on how much uh, cloud and rain uh, there is around, of course, given that that is being uh, brought up by low pressure. Right, well, Icon, again, looks rather unsettled for the middle part of next week. Low pressure being uh, wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic into those westerly winds from the second half next week with further showers, especially in the north. And then as we go into uh, next weekend, start to shift the wind around to more of a southerly or a southwesterly direction. Quite warm in the southeast corner, showering out to be uh, north and the west there. Again, notice wind is pulling around to a southerly there. And uh, then we've got the KMA looking like that. Again, unsettled through uh, next week into next weekend. High pressure builds over to the east of the country with low pressure out to the west. That draws up a southerly flow. So, uh, all in all, looking quite uh, mixed there and showering as we go for the first week and second week of September. And we keep those flat westerlies going up to about the 12th of September. So, looking rather mixed then. Uh, the GFS midnight run, so that's low pressure dominated as well through the middle second half of next week. Second half of next week, low pressure out to West UK line, high pressure east wind pulling around to a southerly, and then that gets cut off as more low pressure heads in from off the Atlantic for about eight days, eight, nine, and ten. Beyond that, well, it's high pressure south, low pressure to uh, the north before high pressure starts to try and build back up from the south again around the 16th of September. And uh, by then, we've got the uh, remnants, got the remains of another uh, tropical storm and or hurricane moving into the North Atlantic then. Of course, that's two weeks away, so very unreliable. More low pressure heading in uh, with the GFS 6Z as well. That bring unsettled conditions too. Wind shifting around to a southerly or trying to next weekend, but quickly cut up by that particular area. Low pressure out to the west. And all in all, we just keep those westerlies uh, coming right way to the end of the um, GFS 6Z as well. With deep low pressure clearing out to the demo. And another one downstream uh, to the west of the UK and Ireland. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. About 90 subscribers will get us to uh, 20.6k. So if you could give us a sub, that would be awesome. So much, everyone. Right, GM again with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. That will be bringing unsettled conditions in with it for the course of uh, next week. There is a little bit of a ridge attempt here around uh, next Sunday, Monday, but that's more towards the east of us. We stay really under the influence of uh, low pressure. Eventually, that pushes through. Uh, anyway, so first 10 days, September, looking quite unsettled. And then finally, we've got the ECM rounding it all off. Low pressure keeps on coming. High pressure south, low pressure to the north. But to build the high pressure up more strongly next weekend, that shifts the wind direction around to a southerly but start to drag up some very warm air potentially uh from the south so uh plus 15 
15 cells iceberg is heading northwards across England and Wales. We keep that plus 15 cells iceberg there for a couple of days. That could get temperature back to the upper 20s Celsius if it comes off. So, uh, each show looking very warm to hot, actually, uh, around days 8, 9 and 10. That is a chart for day 10. Strong with that ridge to the east northeast, drawing up that southerly southeasterly flow. So, uh, yeah, looking looking pretty hot with the uh, with the ECM there around days 8, 9 and 10. And possibly quite thundery as well. And check that out. The ridge uh, then extends and builds as we go through into the middle part of uh, September. So the East yeah, very much going back towards high pressure, which is not good news for the gas weather this autumn forecast. <laughs> Thanks, ECM. Uh, right, OK, well, this is the substantial forecast, so based on that ECM run from Tometia.com. So uh, we've got plenty of showers to come today, tomorrow. And then uh, after that, well, more heavy rain piling up from south across England, Wales, into the middle part of uh, next week, too. Um, and then, of course, that high, uh, high pressure builds over to the east coast, so it will turn mainly dry around days 8, 9, 10, very warm to locally hot. Let's see how that idea fits in within the ECM ensemble. So these are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. From the Isaiah Med's office, gets us to September, September 12, members of the ECM ensembles, keeping it unsettled, low pressure in from the Atlantic, and another 11, keeping it unsettled as well. 11 here with high pressure to the east, northeast, low pressure out to the northwest. And winter coming up from a southerly southeasterly uh, direction with that. We've got nine with low pressure through the Atlantic into the west of Europe. And then we've got eight with clear control the operational run with that high pressure to the east and to the northeast, dragging up that uh, very warm to hot southerly southeasterly flow. So it doesn't look all that well supported, although the 11 here are quite similar. Uh, I guess. So it's 11 and 8, um, which gives us 19 uh, versus the uh, 12, the 11 and the 6 here that are uh, rather more unsettled as well. So the majority option is below pressure, uh, you know, cooler, low pressure dominated scenario. There's a significant minority option on uh, day 10 to be bringing up potentially some quite hot air from the south. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 15th of September. 11 members of the East Gem Ensembles have low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, looking rather flat and westerly with that. But 10, building high pressure strongly over and to the East Country, rectory patrol and the operation run. Another 10 with high pressure or less over the top of the country. We've got eight with uh, high pressure again over the country. We've got a further eight with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, and four, probably with some sort of trough through here. So we may go back to high pressure for the middle part of the month. I think that's, you know, it might not happen as quickly as day 10, uh, 10th of September, but by mid-September, I think we've got quite a strong, you know, quite a, quite a strong... Um, uh, option there, you know, quite a strong possibility or probability even uh, that uh, we go back to high pressure uh, around the middle part of September. And that'll be very interesting how long uh, that uh, holds on for. Uh, right, okay, well, CFSB2, if it occurs, it might not occur, of course, it's two weeks late. CFSB25, leave these 500 mil of our high dominance, and we break it down into eight periods. The first week period will take us from the 31st of August, 6th September, next week, low pressure, right over top. And then we go through to uh, week two, which is going to be 7 to 13th of September. Low pressure to the north of Scotland, bringing in uh, a westerly flow from off the Atlantic, a little bit like that. Week three is going to be the uh, 14th, 20th of September. High pressure is to the west and to the northwest. Winds coming in from an easterly direction then. And then uh, finally, week four is rounding it all off, and it's going to be the uh, 21st to the 27th of September. And uh, then we've got high pressure away to the north, but to the northwest, low pressure is to the south and to the southeast, and that will bring the wind in from more of an east or northeast direction. So that's possibly a bit cool and a little bit unsettled as well. 
in that time frame, I appear to have uh, enabled Photoshop somehow. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. We're going to wrap the video up anyway. So, uh, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Well, make sure you drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. And don't forget to share the bad guys. Don't forget to subscribe to you. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, okay. Well, tomorrow, I'll sit down with UK weather forecast. Take the 14 day. I uh, just say that uh, we were scheduled to um, do gas over Sunday round at the last Sunday round of the year day. I'm afraid I ran out of time. The autumn forecast is pretty time consuming and I've got a second job to do as well. So I just ran out of time really to do uh, the final Sunday round. I'm so sorry about that. But it does mean that when we begin autumn updates next week, uh, winter updates I should say next week on the 7th of September um, well then of course you're going to be seeing everything afresh I guess. So uh, like see so temperature anomalies etc. Uh, you'll be seeing all the data uh, fresh so, um, you know, it's perhaps a better way to go about it. Anyway, so it turns out that the final Sunday roundup of the year was, in fact, last month. Uh, so, winter updates countdown beginning today, I guess, and the first winter update next Sunday. Make sure you check out uh, the autumn forecast, though, and see what you think about that. And uh, you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm off for another afternoon at Watford Gap, but... Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.